Ok, guys, I'm here today with Jason Henderson, huge honor for me. Guys, Jason is a Jiu-Jitsu black belt from Gustavo Machado, Judo black belt from Dave Camarillo, and he spent 30 years on AFCU. And today he's going to show us here how to de-escalate a situation using defensive tactics. And uh, super excited to learn, Jason. And uh, I think, like, escalating situations in life happens with every yeah. lawyer, right? Sure. Yeah. Sometimes with, like, loved ones. Yeah. Sometimes, like, with drunk people on, right. on bars and like that. So right. what do you do when you are, if someone comes aggressive yeah. to you? Well, I think, I think all of us have had a... Um you know, a close friend or a family member, have a little too much to drink at a holiday or at a bar, and they're starting to create a situation. You don't want to hurt them. You just want to get them away from the situation, yep. right? And I, I hear it a lot um, at hospitals with, with doctors and nurses saying, hey, you know, we have not just patients that can be aggressive, but also loved ones because they're really passionate. They want to get to their families because yep. they just had a, a horrible incident, right? So they become very physical. You don't want to hurt that family member. You just want to pull them away from the situation. Yep. So one of the big things that I do, again, my approach is always the same. I'm breathing. I'm getting off at a 45 degree angle. I'm approaching you at an angle. I'm flanking, slowly working in my flank. I'm talking calm to you talking to my ego, I'm talking to you, trying to calm the situation down. As you come closer into aggress, I'm using my bone, my humerus bone here as a frame to kind of stop you. I'm still talking to try and calm you down. You see with my other hand, I have control of this tricep because I'm now at a 45 degree angle. If I was more square, I'd have to be a bicep and I'd transition to the tricep. Again, I'm talking to the side of your face. Everything is gonna be okay. As he's starting to push into me or he's being difficult, I'm just pushing this into my bicep. I went from the frame here, dropping my hand down through the armpit and feeding it into my bicep. I've now got good control of him. Anytime I'm in a grappling situation, I'm in a control situation, I wanna be as tight on that person as possible. From here again, I'm trying to be calm talking to him. I'm coming here through the armpit. I don't like to over wrap an arm because you can reach up and circle back towards my front. I always like to go inside here. Here I can go into a, a body clinch, I can go down to a single, I can do whatever is necessary, but right now I just want to control them. So I'm always coming through the armpits, <coughs> getting that far side arm, and I'm feeding it through back to my other hand. Oh my God. You see, I had good control here. Now, if I was going to cuff them, if I was in law enforcement, I could have a hand free to do this. I could have my weapon systems far away from them, so I have good control, and I have them nice and tight. If it's a, a smaller person, I can come all the way across and take that the bicep here and I can have good control and walk about. Hey, come on, let's just go outside. You've had too much to drink, whatever. Get away from the situation. Or if they're a bigger person, I just go and grab as much of that wrist as possible here. But here I've got good control. I'm from the back. At any given point, I can knee bump again, take them down with any of these techniques, or I can just have a good body clinch and walk them out of the situation. Yeah, that's tough. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, Jason, one thing I noticed here, and it's the second or third time that you show you, you show that, you're always on 45 degrees, so you're yeah. never facing the never. person. Never. What's the rationality behind that? Uh, I was on the Navy boxing team also, and, and uh, you know, I grappled, and I did all kinds of fighting. Mm -hmm. And anytime I'm facing you, it's even... Your exposure. Okay. I always want to be coming off. I always want to be moving away from your power hand, where, move away from your strengths. If you're changing elevation, I want to already be framing to block you, to push you down. But I always want to be changing my angles. I want to fight you from here. The best place for me to fight you is here. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> here, yeah, yeah, in 45. Yeah. Yeah. But one of the things that we find is that if I can preload, a lot of it is done in the pre, right? It's in the, I'm being proactive, being ahead of time. I'm breathing, I'm calming myself down, I'm heating this up. Because as soon as you start rushing me, if you're rushing me with a knife or anything else, I'm already pushing off. I got it. A lot of law officers will talk about the 21 foot rule. If you're within 21 feet of me, I can come up and stab you before you can get your gun up. This alleviates that by just heating up your insteps, pushing off that 45 yeah. degree angle, then framing in. Because yeah. no, that's where I want to double leg, I want to no, do everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That and coincidence in Jiu Jitsu as well, many times I think like that, you know, for them, I'm trying to pass someone's guard, I don't want to go here, I want to go a little bit here. Yeah. So I and can't see wrestlers will, will come yeah. in yeah. At, this, yeah. at this kind of horseshoe type yeah. of technique, because we don't want to be going straight in on each other. I want to come off, and then when you square up, then I'm doing that last doubles and stuff for takedowns. You know? No, I agree. No, and I love this subject because uh, I think this might be like the most common thing. Like you go to a bar, then yeah. this drunk person comes aggressive. I, I think everybody right. might have got at least one situation yep. like that. Yeah, sure. And uh, so learning how to deal with that is not that easy because, for example, 
uh, I don't want to double leg the person in the middle of the That's bar, right. so it would be much better to just use something like just frame and redirect them. And it's all just an, es a, an escalation back down to a de escalation. At yeah. any time, I can ramp it up and I can take it right back down and get yeah. it. And if I can just redirect, if I can avoid it, that's number one. Number two, if I can redirect you and just move, move you, and while I'm talking, hey, sorry about that, my bad, moving them the way, if they keep amping up, then I'm going into a, um, an arm tie or a two on one and giving right. them control. Keep escalating, then I got a bump. But even then, I'm just bumping them down or I'm grab, grasping them around the waist and body locking them and moving them out of the bar or whatever um, is the least amount of damage necessary or causes the least amount of escalation with yeah. everybody else that's around you too. Yeah, no, that's that, that's incredible. And uh, guys, so uh, as I said, like Jason is a Jiu-Jitsu black belt, Judo black belt, and he spent 30 years on AFCU. So he might be the most experienced person to teach self-defense and defensive tactics to anybody. So he just showed an entire structural and he's gonna be at bjjfanatics.com and effectivesefdefense.com very soon. So maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So make sure to check that out and learn from the one who probably knows the most. And thanks so much, Luis. Appreciate it. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.